My literacy journey begins when I fell in love with my first book. Little did I know that my love for reading and creating at a tender age of five would open up a new world to me where language, writing and poetry would become my daily bread. I even founded a poetry club in high school. I learned how to create my works and express myself in several South African languages because I was exposed to different cultures growing up. Living in four different provinces throughout my school years played a great role. As a result, I became passionate with the arts and followed a career in film and television, becoming a translator and junior editor for Daily Sun TV. My love for studying and learning every day has created a wonderful journey that has now brought me to the teacher's realm, a place I am now in love with. My journey is inspired by nine schools, eight languages, three tertiary institutions and over 50 teachers. I cannot recall the amount of friends made. I've also acquired many skills through interaction and work. Having worked as a promoter, a personal assistant and coordinator, I've acquired communication and people skills that still work to my advantage today and give me a head start in the workforce. My literacy journey would require a whole book with details because it is filled with adventure, good and bad encounters, but most importantly, learning. How I became literate. My name is Nelsi Weminenke. I spent a lot of time watching cartoons which helped in improving my speech. As I grew older, I entered public speaking competitions and won one of them. Through the my literacy in education has been a long and fruitful journey. People who helped me to achieve high literacy level in this and my post metric experience, bearing in mind that my family is Hi, I'm Mashavala Falaga Dije Comfort. I'm to share with you my story on how I became information literate. My journey started back when I was at the age of four. I grew up in rural areas in Limpopo, so the only thing to keep me occupied was doing clay models and play with the children. I developed a growth mindset from the beginning of my school years. It was on the 13th of January 2009 in grade 6. When Mrs. Jane Mahalisho, our arts and culture teacher, gave us a project to build a heart out of mud, our teacher provided us with instruction and tips regarding the proje building project. But we chose to ignore her tips because we wanted to construct something fascinating. We were not computer literate, so we had to do the research physically by speaking to the builders and seeking advices from them. We successfully completed the project in four months and I am still proud of the skills and literacies I acquired from doing this project.